friends, this video is for our two-year-old's room <clears throat> for September week four. And all month long, we've been asking the question, who loves you no matter what? And our bottom line is God loves me no matter what. We've kind of been talking about our feelings all month long and that no matter how we're feeling, whether it's sad, happy, frustrated, angry, um, God loves us no matter what. And our memory verse, trust in the Lord with all your heart, Proverbs 3, 5. So the first week we talked about how Hannah was sad and God loved her when we were sad. Then Gideon is afraid. God loves us when we're afraid. Last week we talked about how Moses was frustrated and God loves us when we're frustrated. This week we are talking about the story of Abraham and Sarah and how they are happy and God loves me when I am happy. God gave Sarah and Abraham a child after they had waited a very, very, very long time. Sarah was so happy that it literally brought Sarah laughter. Sarah and Abraham knew that they could trust God with all of their heart and that God would love them and help them and they celebrated what God did. So that is what we are gonna be talking about this week. So we would love for you to join us at 8.20 and 10.20 in the garage drill room for coffee and donuts and most importantly, just a time of prayer together. Then just make sure that you are to the two-year-old's room by 8.30 and 10.30. When kids start to roll in at 8.40 and 10.40, there's already been some kids in here playing today, you can get out toys, they can play around the room. A great thing is the bubble machine and there's extra bubbles right up here. Um, the Apple TV remote is a little silver remote. Oh, and it's right here. And just in case some of you don't know, what you need to do is you need to actually turn the TV on. And then if you hold this menu button down, that's what turns on the little teeny tiny Apple TV. And then there is um, an app on this Apple TV that kind of looks like a Saved by the Bell app for all you 90s folks that are out there. So I held down the menu button and it turned on, you can see the little Apple TV. And then when the big TV turns on, I will show you, this is the app that has your Ollie video on it. It's so, so, so easier, easy to use. Way more easy than the iPad. Um, oh, it's already pulled up. So if it wasn't pulled up, I'm gonna go back here. Go back, will you go back? Will you show me home? No, okay. Well, it's a little button, it's called Playlister. It looks like a 90s app. And then you go to third week preschool and then your song is on there, your Ollie video is on there. You just scroll over, memory verse, all that stuff. And then you just click this silver metal button and you press okay and it will play. So um, you can turn on so that song as kids come in. Then at about five after, you'll clean up. So 9.05, 11.05. Then a little interactivity. You've got these little cones that still have the different faces on them. So there's a frustrated face, angry face, sad face, happy face. And you can put those out and you can let the kids toss these rings. That was terrible because it was my left hand. I'm trying to watch it through. Onto the hoops. They can walk right up to it. You can have them sit down and maybe come up two at a time and do that. And so you're going to say, um, yeah, that's basically it. And today we're going to hear a story about someone who loves us when we're happy. Then another little interactivity that you could do. I've got two mirrors here so you can kind of spread them out around the room. And you're gonna tell kiddos, okay guys, we've been talking about our feelings and how God loves us no matter what we're feeling. So let's all stand in front of the mirror and I'm gonna call out a feeling and you guys are gonna make the face that goes with that feeling. Are you ready? Here we go. So you're gonna make sad face, frustrated face, happy face, uh, angry face, an excited face, an embarrassed face, all kinds of faces. And then say, today we're gonna hear a story about how God loves us when we're happy. And then at 20 after, 9, 20, and 11, 20, you will head out to large group to hear the story. When you get back from large group, I haven't made these copies yet because Herc's copying a bunch of stuff for Revelations class. You're going to have little stickers with the memory verse on them that all the kids can get. So when you come back, you're going to make a big circle. You can sit on the circle carpet and the floor. And you can say we've been talking about feelings all month long and how God loves us no matter what. And then you're going to say the memory verse with your sad face. And then say the memory verse with your happy face. And then you can give each kid a sticker. Then the next activity that you can do is called Happy Dance. So you're going to take one of the baby dolls from the room and put it on the floor. And invite kids to make a circle around the doll. And then you're going to play the song for this month. And they're just going to do a happy dance around the doll. And then you can let kids take turns sitting in the middle holding the doll while the rest of the kids dance around it. So you're just going to say, in our Bible story today, Abraham and Sarah were very happy because God gave them a baby. Since Abraham and Sarah were happy because God gave them a baby, when we hear music, we're going to do a happy dance around this baby doll. And then when the music pauses, you guys are going to stop and we'll take turns sitting in the middle to hold the baby. Then you can do a little party parachute. So we've got the parachute and we've got some of these little streamers here that you could put in the middle of the parachute. 
And so what you're just going to do is say, everybody bend down and pick up the parachute. And we're going to wave it by moving our arms up and down. And now we're going to make it a really big party by adding the streamers. And we're just going to celebrate just like Abraham and Sarah did. Tell me who loves you when you're happy. God loves me no matter what. That's right. And then the last thing is your little craft. So kids will get this. They can color in this picture with crayons or dot markers that I have out. And then they'll, I'll have these cut out. They'll have a little Isaac, and you will glue Isaac into Sarah's arms um, to remind our kiddos that Abraham and Sarah were so happy when they finally had a baby and that God loves us no matter what, even when we're happy. And there's a little summary of the story right there that you can go over with the kids if you want. So that is it for this week, a party celebrating that God loves us no matter what. Thank you guys so much for serving our two-year-olds. I love you all. I appreciate you so much, and we will see you on, two on Sunday.